Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our July edition of Sew and Tell. I'm Lynn. I'm the manager of the Littleton store for Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum. And today we have some fun um, designs and embroidery that is new. Some of it's new, some of it's repeats, but it's just all going to be great. Uh, different stuff for you to work on. We've got a Christmas in July, a couple of them. We've got some stuff for back to school. So we've got a, just a fun variety of things. We're not going to post all the product on our website, but we are going to have a wish list. So what you'll do is you'll go to our website, you'll click on the link and you'll download the wish list. On the wish list will be all the products that we're going to be showing for my segment and for the so fun that Audrey's going to be doing. You can print that wish list, you can check off everything that you want, and then you can either go into the store or call the store and we will get your order together and you can do it as curbside pickup. So make sure you print the wish list and make sure you find all the fun things that you're going to want from that we're showing this month. The, the first design we're going to start with is a neat good design and this is new for the month of July. It is called Christmas Needle Point Stockings. So the nice thing with this design is they give you eight different stocking designs, but then they also give you the individual designs. So you can use them as a stocking or you can use them separately. Terry made um, this project. She used the ornament and she sewed it on a towel. So this is just a great way to use she used some metallic threads in there. She added a fun band to the bottom of the towel. And it's just a quick, easy, would be a great gift. Personally, I like to keep them for myself, but you know, it's just a fun, easy thing that you could do for Christmas in July. Our next project is also from Anita Good Design. This is um, in the Anita Good Design All Access for the month of July. It's an express project, so we don't have it in the store. You would have to order that online, but it is Mylar Christmas cards. So you embroider the beautiful um, design on a piece of fabric and then attach it to the card. Um, Terry used really pretty green and red mylar in there, just gives it some nice shine and just a great idea for the holidays that are coming up. Our next project this month is an older design. Kathy's sister made this for her. This is from Anita Good Design. It's called Double Exposure Animals. And what they do is they take the shape of the animal and they do this beautiful embroidery in the middle of it that something that would um, give you the uh, kind of the background of where that animal would live. So she stitched it on a piece of felt, cut it out with a little bit of an echo around it, and then glued it onto this piece of wood. She got the wood at one of the craft stores, and it's just really a pretty, beautiful kind of nature project that would be perfect for anybody. Our next project is from Kimberbell. They just have some of the greatest projects. This is from a design disc called Buttons Are Always in Season. And they have um, seasonal buttons. So you have all four of the seasons, and then they have embroidery designs that you can, that they have you go back and sew the buttons onto the design. This one says, let's get ready to bumble, and it's just great for spring. They have um, summer designs, they have autumn designs, and then they also have designs for winter and Christmas. And I love these towels from Kimberbell. They come in a set of two, you get the dots and the stripes. So you have both um, polka dots and the stripes that you can use. They do a lot of these towels. They use them for aprons and all kinds of different things. So they're really versatile and they're just really pretty designs that you can, or towels that you can sew on. So that is Buttons Are Always In Season by Kimberbell. Our next project is uh, from OESD. It's a scissor tail stitches. It's Delight by Tamara Kate. And this is actually a design I showed a couple months ago but all I had was a piece of fabric with the design on it. I hadn't decided what to do with it yet. 
I did stitch the entire design with matte thread and I just love the way the matte gives you a little bit of a dull finish versus the, the brightness, the shininess of the polyester thread. So I took the design, I found this beautiful buffalo check fabric and the pink dots and I think the pink dots really pull out the color and it just makes a great bag with a pocket on the front with a beautifully embroidered design. So again, this is Scissor Tail Stitches Delight by Tamara Kate. This next design is a lot of fun. Um, it's called Radical Retro. It's also a scissor tail design. I love OESD. They just do some really fun play on words. Uh, this one has an old typewriter and it says just my type. It has an old video controller. It says control freak. So I had my 11 year old niece go through the designs and pick some out and she just redecorated her room. So we made her this wall hanging that will go in her room. She picked out Let the Good Times Roll and Gnarly. I thought Gnarly was kind of funny for an 11 year old girl, but it's a cute design. I used a combination again of matte thread and the polyester. So you have the shine on the red and then the more flat on the other three colors, which just gives it some great dimension. You really get nice with that shine on there. You really get a nice design. So this will be a fun um, wall hanging in her newly decorated room. Our next design is also from OESD. It's called White Work Petals. It's a just a solid color. It's a very elegant design. They did white on black. Terry took that design and had a really pretty piece of silk and made a great hanger cover using that single design right in the middle of the hanger. She put the design high up on the hanger cover so that when a jacket or a shirt is hanging on there, you see that little bit of embroidery poking out through the top. Um, this has really got some beautiful designs. It's very elegant. You may see it again. She had a, has a, a jacket that she's gonna be making for sofa in September, and one of these designs is gonna be perfect on it. So this is White Work Petals by OESD. <laughs> Who likes owls? This design is from OESD. It's Tulip Pink Presents the Imaginary Menagerie number two. I know a lot of people are really really love Tula Pink. She's got some great designs. They're interesting. They're different. Her colors are very vibrant. She has on here bananas, scissors, um, some more Zen Tangle kind of designs, and then some very dense. This design was, I think Terry told me, 133,000 stitches, so it's a very intensely stitched design. But look how beautiful it turned out on the back of the jacket also using that same design disc, Emily made this beautiful bird design. This would be really pretty framed um, in a black frame, some black, mat, black matting to go around it just to really um, show off the beautiful stitching of this design. So these designs, the owl and the bird, are both from Tula Pink, Imaginary Menagerie number two. Our next project is also from Scissor Tail Designs. It's called Laundry Day. If you saw in probably April, we did the uh, Punny Kitchen. These are very similar kind of designs, but they're designed for the laundry room. They have just some very clever. My favorite is Lost Socks, Clean and Single, Looking for Soulmate, which I don't know about you, but we have plenty of lost clean socks at our house. Uh, Becky took the design, it's the hang in there, she stitched it out and then stitched it on to used a um, pinking blade, a pinking rotary blade, cut it out, stitched it onto the towel and then used this great hanger shaped hanger for the towel. These would be great designs, bright and happy for a room that isn't always so happy. So this is Laundry Day by Scissor Tails. Our next design is one of my favorites. It's also OESD, it's called Holiday Birds. It is by Sharon Lee, and there are 20 beautiful designs on here. They're different, a variety of different kind of winter birds. 
Um, Becky made this pillow, and she used matte thread for the bird, and then she used metallic thread for the swirl and the snowflake. And she had this perfect piece of wool fabric in her stash at home, so she was able to use the wool fabric for the border around, and it really just frames it nicely. It's just a fun pillow for Christmas. I know it seems like it's a long ways away, but it will be here before you know it. And then I have a friend, um, one year for Christmas I bought her one of those wire stands that you hang a design on. So I make her designs, or little wall hangings, for the hanger periodically throughout the year. Over two years she has five or six of different holidays, but I thought this was perfect to hang on her little wire rack. It says, friends who are dear to us, gather near to us once more. So it's just a fun kind of friendship design for special people in your life. And this will hang right on her rack. And this one also used, uh, I used matte thread, I used metallic thread, and I used polyester. So you really have just a lot of interest going on on the design. So this is Holiday Birds by OESD. Our last design for this month is going to be great for back to school. It's called um, Scissor Tail Stitches Too Cool for School. And again, it has some fun play on word designs. It has some great fun things for kids of a variety of ages. Uh, this is a backpack. I got this backpack at Hobby Lobby. They have them on special for $2.49. And I um, have a 10 needle, so I was able to just hoop the bag, slide it onto the free arm, and do all the stitching without having to take the bag apart, which is really nice. One thing I um, always do if I'm stitching on, a piece of fabric like this, or fabric like you see on some of the other designs, I always um, iron on the back of the fabric a woven or some kind of interfacing so it stabilizes the fabric. My new favorite is by OSD, it's called Fusible Woven. So this is a cotton fabric with fusible on it. I iron it onto the back of the fabric that I'm doing the embroidery on. I leave it there. It doesn't go away. It just gives some nice stability to the fabric without adding a lot of bulk. So behind the design on this backpack is a piece of this fusible woven on there just to give it a little bit of, of stability as I'm doing the embroidery. So this is, they see me rolling, they waiting. And it's got the school bus, it's got some matte thread. It's just a great fun um, for kids. I think they'd really enjoy that. And then Terry had this uh, bag in her resource center. One of the designs was designed more for girls. It says beauty and brains. So she embroidered that on this little bag. This would be fun for kids as a pencil bag once they go back to school. And then the last project Becky did, she, um, she's very creative. She did teacher's pet on one side. She actually made the bag herself. She put the zipper in, she lined it. It's a beautiful bag. So she has teacher's pet on one side. And then on the other side, she has pencils. This single pencil is one of the designs on the disc. She brought that pencil into her software. She mirrored it and rotated it, and then added the word pencils in between. So she created in her software this great design that goes on the pencil bag. So this is just a super bag for the school kids in your life. We do have all of these discs currently in the store. So if you are in need of any of them, just stop by one of our stores, we can get it for you. Otherwise, you can order OESD online. You can go to our website, RockyMountainSewing.com. If you go to Products, the, um, there's a drop-down menu. Hit the drop-down menu. Go down to the bottom where it says Embroidery, and that will take you right to a link that's going to take you right to OESD's website. So you can order all of these OESD designs right from their website. It makes it really easy if you can't make it into the store. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for spending time with me. And I hope you got some inspiration this month. And we'll see you again next month.